एनीवेज कंटिन्यूइंग द फर्दर डिस्कशन हेड ओप्स सॉरी ऑफ द यस्टर डेज क्लास सो इट वाज अबाउट सेक्शन 65 बी today's class also will be about it but i'll just try to get the things understood in an efficient manner in regards to the section 65b okay now we will understand in this in the terms of conceptual terms okay let's in in the terms of scenario based things so a topic will be uh, indian evidence act section specifically section 65b section 65b okay not even other parts of it b section 65b and the sub clauses okay now let's assume a scenario okay that uh, you have received a threat message on whatsapp or i have received a threat message on whatsapp and what i need to do is i need to produce this as uh, as an evidence in the court of law understand now this will actually you know clear up the things very easily for you especially in terms of the yesterday's class so there is a threat message that i have received on whatsapp saying and i need to produce this evidence in the court of law now there are three prime scenarios to consider over here three prime scenarios okay what are the three prime scenarios over here to be considered number 1 will this be counted as evidence or you can specifically say digital evidence okay number 2 if this digital evidence okay if digital evidence can be produced by us in court i mean by me specifically if i'm talking uh, spelling mistakes if it first of all will it be counted number 2 can it be produced by us and number 3 if it can be then how it can be produced i hope this scenario is clear see you have to understand from the starting scenario then only you will be able to reach to the conclusion so uh, keep this scenario be focused be attentive a bit you will be able to understand now in order to get answer of these three questions we have to actually dive into indian indian evidence act and a bit of information technology act also but before considering all these things before considering the uh, inform the indian evidence act and the information technology act and all those other things okay one thing that i would like to um, put a light as we have to first understand the definition of evidence okay definition of evidence as per the indian evidence indian evidence act okay so as per the indian evidence act definition of evidence so what is the definition of evidence as per the indian evidence act is the sub clause one that states all statements which court permits or requires to be made before uh hello to be made before it by the witness or the witnesses in relation to the matter of the fact under inquiry such are to be considered as 
ओवरल एविडेंस ओके so definition of evidence under the Infor- uh, indian evidence act is all the statements that the court permits or requires that is actually you know made it by the witnesses in relation to the subject uh, on which the court is relying the case on which that's you know running upon is considered to be as an oral evidence which is not of that interest as of now to us but the second sub clause what it states that all documents produced for the inspection of court such documents are to be termed as documentary evidence right this is the definition of evidence in terms of indian evidence act now what is the next um you can say definition that we need to focus upon the or the next term that we need to understand about is definition of electronic record in terms of or how does indian evidence act define electronic record okay so definition of electronic record how does it go is uh, electronic record um okay just just a minute i just made a mistake i'm i'm actually sorry this is not under indian evidence act i i was just trying to recall because i just recall that evidence act is not dealing with electronic record so definition of electronic record is not under the indian evidence act but it is under the it act information technology act okay so evidence is defined by indian evidence act and electronic record is somewhat defined by the it act under the it act so here as per the it act electronic record means data record or data generated um or you can say image or sound stored sound yes sound stored which is either received or sent in an electronic form or computer generated macrofilm or micro you can say fish Yeah. it's a bit complex just a minute someone is having some difficulties in yes the class is there on skype you all are able to hear me right yes cool just a minute someone from the batch is getting some difficulties in joining anyways let's let's move further okay so what does it act says that what is electronic record so it is any record i mean it it's any data it's any data which is either uh, you can say recorded or the data is generated as an image or sound so image could be the whatsapp message in this case the the image of the whatsapp message that i am you know providing as an evidence that i want to provide as an evidence basically uh, could be the message correct and then what is the sound stored so it could be telephonic conversations over the call received or sent in a electronic form right or a computer generated micro macrofilm or microfiche microfilm or macrofiche 
are nothing but they are the highly compressed versions of the documents or the physical documents okay uh, just a minute again i mean why shrijit sir is getting issues so microfilm or microfiche are the compressed uh states of the physical documents stored in a digital form okay now in order to get things much better we also have to look at definition of data okay so we we saw till now that this is what i was trying to say in terms of um electronic electronic record right but here a lot of things about data are mentioned so what exactly does this term data mean over here how does it describe how i mean what what is data over here so this is the image where it's written data means a representation of information knowledge facts concepts or instructions which are being prepared or have been prepared in a formalized manner and is intended to be processed is being processed or has been processed in a computer system or a computer network and may be in any form including computer printouts magnetic or optical storage punch cards punch tapes or stored internally in the memory of computer Uh, i know it's a quite complex over here but it, it's not that complex if you just break it down that it's nothing but it's a certain information facts or knowledge okay that actually have been prepared in a formalized manner which is actually um, which is actually in a state that it can be processed or it is in the state under processing or it already has been processed by the computer system computer network or it may, it may be in any form optical storage print outs or it's still residing in the memory of the computer that is in the storage right you can just say this is what data means over here cool now in order to um you can say understand the evidentiary value of 65 and 65 b just a minute yeah in order to understand the evidentiary or evidence value of 65b we have to actually go and understand 65b also and the sub clauses so there are four sub clauses the fourth sub clause deals specifically with the 65b certificate other three sub clauses i'll just you know show you okay so section 65b of the indian evidence indian evidence act sub clause 1 anything contained in this act i mean any information contained in an electronic record any information contained in an ele electronic record which is printed on paper stored recorded or copied in an optical or a magnetic media produced by a computer shall be deemed to be also a document if the conditions mentioned in this section are satisfied in relation to the information of the computer and in question and shall be admissible in any proceedings without any further proof of production of the original as the evidence of the cont any of the original or the any fact stated therein of with the direct evidence would be admissible 
so any any information basically you can see uh, in the form of an electronic record is produced on a paper or in a form of a printout in a form of a picture in a form of uh, magnetic media it still considered to be a documentary evidence and is admissible in the court of law okay nevertheless all the further three sub clauses or the further two sub clauses are satisfied then only so this was the about sub clause 1 of 65b going into sub clause 2 um again we'll just try to break this down because it's complex a bit okay now the conditions referred to in subsection 1 in respect to a computer output so see subsection uh, the, the sub clause 1 deals with the electronic record which is printed or stored but in a computer right or the information from which i mean the information uh, that we are getting from this computer so what section 65b sub clause 2 deals with the sub clause 2 is nothing but but is the list of conditions yeah. what it is it is a list of conditions in regards yeah. to the computer and to the information that is to be produced as an evidence so the point number a the computer output containing the information was produced by computer during the period of time over which the computer was used regularly to store or process information for the purposes of any activities regularly carried and over a period of the time so what is the first condition that the computer from which this evidence is taken that particular computer is supposed to be in a regular use so the regular storing and processing of information is was done on the computer the normal activity that a normal user does on the computer was done over that period of time the first condition should be met what is the second condition the information of the kind contained in an electronic record or of the kind from which the information so was contained is derived was regularly fed into a computer in the ordinary course so again apart from the computer that is itself into consideration and computer does just doesn't mean a laptop or a desktop over here computer means any electronic device like any not any electronic device specifically see mobile also is a computer only right you get the point what i'm trying to say right so the second condition is in regards to the information inside the computer that the course should be such the nature of should that in the ordinary period of time in the ordinary course there should be a regular feed in of the information in the computer that will be checked number 3 throughout the material part of the said period the computer was operating properly if not then in respect to any period in which it was not operating properly or was out of operation during that period was not as to such affect the electronic record or the accuracy of its content so regardless it should be the state that the computer was operating properly was in a good and a stabilized condition then it will be considered number 4 again in terms of information the information contained in the electronic evidence reproduces it or it's derived from such information fed into the computer in the ordinary course of the said activities okay so it reproduces it resembles the actual acquired or you know accusated information from the computer these are the four conditions that are required to fulfill the sub clause 1 so this is a sub clause 2 which fulfill the sub sections of the sub clause 1 stating the conditions what should be there going towards the section 65b sub clause 3 this is in terms of information again the conditions for information okay that the functioning or the storing or processing of information was carried out regularly carried out and in mentioned in the clause that of subsection 2 was regularly performed by the computer whether by combination of computer operating over that period of time by different computers operating in succession by different combination of computer operating in succession so it's not something which is just limited to a single computer or in any other manner if there is you know a technological update there are changes in the technology right if there is a technological update os updates or something like that okay regardless of that that particular purpose shall be treated 
for this particular section constituting as a single computer only okay so in in, the, in that particular regards if there are multi, that information was fed out from multiple sources due to the operational of various computing powers or various computers in place still the entire the, the actual the actual information will be termed to be collected or from the con or it will be constituted from a single computer only that will be made an assumption over there and then the references shall be constructed accordingly in terms of that computer this is the sub clause 3 okay the last sub clause deals with the certificate oops okay so last sub clause i have not the photo but these are the three sub clauses okay now last sub clause what it deals with basically that deals with the certificate okay so section 65 b sub clause 4 what exactly does it deal it deals with the certificate right so a certificate is needed to be produced along with the evidence satisfying the or laying down the conditions are met under 65b sub clause 2 okay over the conditions okay are satisfied under the section 65b sub clause 2 1 and 3 are also verified but it's sub clause 2 is in, is what in referred in terms of the section 65b sub clause 4 this deals with the 65b certificate okay so what are the three things that is there uh, in, in to be considered in the sub clause 4 as the certificate what is the certificate that certificate will identify the electronic record that needs to be produced identify the record that needs to be produced okay the first thing is this what will be the second thing identify the manner in which it was produced or it has been produced third identify from where it's derived from where it has been derived okay thereby fulfilling the criteria in 65b sub clause 2 okay so this criteria that these particular points should be fulfilled right then for the, the computer was, was on a regular period uh, in, in terms of storing and receiving and uh, processing the information in terms of uh, the information content was derived from regularly feed into the computer and the computer was operating in a proper state and all these conditions are to be fulfilled okay under this extent 65b subclass 4 okay and the last point that it deals with who can actually produce it so this certificate needs to be made by a person who is um, responsible in relation to the respect of the, in regards or in respect in device or or is in a in a managerial role you can say a senior role or not senior but managerial role like in a managing role basically with such devices and adding to this point 
the person producing the certificate or the institute or whosoever should be in the best of their knowledge and the ability to prove and state it so that's the reason you know anyone can do this but it is done by lawyers only because they are uh, the ones who are actually in relation in response to the case or the forensic experts or the investigation companies and also they are in the best of their knowledge and the ability now you got the point that why it's need to be created only by the lawyers or it's considered like that most of the cases in terms of private investigation right now let's go back to the case scenario that we were discussing assume that you want to produce this whatsapp message uh, uh, as an evidence in court of law okay considering the first point will this be counted as digital evidence the whatsapp image yes why because as per the it act it's an electronic record and containing the sections under the 65b especially the sub clause 2 it is stored in a computer and here the computer is nothing but termed as a mobile phone correct it also fulfills the condition of section 65b sub clause 2 that the mobile phone was regularly being used and information was regularly fed in right so yes it will be considered as a digital evidence correct fulfilling the conditions of uh, sub clause 2 of the 65b that is why because it's been operated by me and it is functioning properly right it's my mobile phone right and maintaining the condi and pertaining the condition yes a but proper 65b certificate is also attached in regards to this evidence so yes that can be produced as an evidence in the court of law okay now the last part for today's class is to go in and understand a, uh, a few documents or a few section 65b certificates as of now i'll be demonstrating four only in case if you need some more let me know accordingly as of now i'll be just stating this four what in case in case of amazon alexa is the device from which the evidence needs to be submitted or evidence needs to be proved in court of law and the computer over here is amazon alexa so how will the 65b look like or come into consideration is the fact over here is it should pertain the three facts identify the record that needs to be produced the manner and from where it is produced and the responsible role and the role should be in the best of their knowledge and the ability this should all be there in the certificate so this is actually a uh, example of a section 65b certificate not um, section it's an example of certificate which certificate 65b certificate which is there under the it act matching the sub clause 4 condition in short this is nothing but just a section 65b certificate in terms of producing amazon alexa uh, as in logs or amazon alexa information as an evidence so what is the point i urvesh thakkar under signed the state of my best and knowledge see believe that the information contained in an electronic record herein is referred to as information refers to data from amazon alexa accenture a briefly explain the commonly understood meaning of amazon alexa here accenture a is also present see computer output refers to the printout of information taken using the computer resource described in accenture b or computer output refers to the optical or magnetic media described in accenture b where the hash values will be provided in this certificate on which the information is been stored recorded or copied the manner in which the computer output was produced is was described in Accenture C. The computer output containing the information was produced by the computer during the period over the time was computers were regularly used 
or store to process the for the purposes of activities regularly carried out over that period of time by the person having lawful control of the use of computer so the person uh, one thing i just i just forgot to mention out as a point in the sub clause is the the person should be lawful the device should be in lawful to the person to whom it is belonging right during the said period the information the information of the kind contained in the electronic record of the kind from which the information so contained is derived was regularly fed into the computer by the ordinary so you can see in the sub clause 2 is been applied over here right this is nothing if just go and read out the sub clause 2 it's the same that's the reason section 65b certificate in the 65b certificate the sub clause 2 shall be satisfied and shall be present in the certificate right so here it you know took what is the evidence amazon the information from amazon alexa right how it was produced that has been there so i occupy a responsible official position in relation to the operation of relevant device this relevant device i occupy a responsible official position in relation to the relevant activities signed on this this date it is i just downloaded it today so that's the reason it's for today's date uh, not today's i think it's yesterday's tomorrow's day yesterday two days ago name my name then all, all the other details i mean this is something very optional which are uh, i mean these two things are nothing but these are something more things or more or less can be added then see as stated in essentiary what is amazon alexa a brief about it category of the digital evidence digital evidence from the iot devices brief explanation of category then you know what is internet of things source of digital evidence amazon alexa brief explanation of digital evidence that what is amazon alexa relevant data can be found in databases of the alexa mobile app android web view cache and the chrome web cache essential b contains the details of the computer resource described in printer or the optical or the magnetic media here in case if it's there you have to provide the hash values and all and c the manner in which the computer output was produced right similarly let's see some more examples of gmail account so same everything is almost same just the type of information is changed i urush nakkar understand the best of my knowledge and everything that the information contained in electronic record here after referred to as information refers to the data from a gmail account again the essential whatever a b and c are the same the conditions under section 65b sub clause 2 are satisfied and i am the official responsible person so here essentially what is gmail account so digital evidence from email so how does it work source is gmail again brief explanation about the source so details of prevent and current logins entries in send in mail as section entries in check mail entries in mail delegation filters forwarding pop and list of accounts and all essential b details of the computer resource and essential c manner in which the output was produced right i have this four more i'll just share that also now recalling the yesterday's class that the fact was a few discrepancies in terms of section 65b certificate the first case that i had explained navjot sindhu case wherein what the supreme court said you know supreme court there is no such mandate required for the certificate to be present alongside the evidence generally if you understand i am just you know going in very layman terms now just because that evidence is not physically present to be produced in a court of law hence it is treated as secondary evidence in short 65b and the sub clause 4 specially regarding the certificate only comes under consideration when it's a secondary evidence secondary evidence okay so in in you know navjot sindhu case 
द फर्स्ट केस हेल्ड बाय सुप्रीम कोर्ट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सेड देर इज नो सच मैंडेट रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर सिक्सटी बी सर्टिफिकेट एंड वॉट वॉट वॉज द कॉन्सिक्वेंस दैट दे वर ओवर एम बम्बल्ड विथ यू नो सेकेंडरी एविडेंसेस विदाउट अ रिलायबल वेरीफिकेशन ऑफ इट then came up the anwar versus ba- anwar versus bashir case wherein the supreme court state that it is mandatory to submit 65 b certificate for the admissibility of the evidence or else it is not even admissible then it won't even rely on the oral evidences so section 65 b is mandate now again this created some injustice that's why in mohammad shafi's case um you know then supreme court you know in the three judge bench panel the supreme court laid down a very clear idea about the submission of 65 b certificate in such cases now just consider an hypothetical scenario very hypothetical i am somewhere in um x region probably i am in delhi and i want information containing in the bank account in my bank account or just let's let's assume that from my email there is a request made to a bank using my email address there is a request made to a bank to reset my password and the bank has done it which led to me some financial loss which led to me some financial loss cool now i am in delhi the bank is in kerala there are remote locations my bank headquarters is, is not near is no i mean it's is another state directly it's in another state directly wherein i need to now produce the email the response of my email that was received by the bank as an secondary evidence right so you see over here how the 65 will be generated it won't be generated why because number 1 i am not the lawful person of the computer because th- that information was taken from the computer's bank uh the, the computer of the bank right where the data has been feed and transmitted continuously in that case how can i be admissible for producing a 65b when i am not in the lawful person right so here the supreme court stated in such cases if the person is not liable or the person is not lawful in terms of the device from which the information is you know uh, collected then it is still admissible without the certificate or if it's required then the certificate has to be provided by the party the third party of from which the information is collected did that's the fact you see many other times in certain cases telecom operators do also provide a certificate to the law enforcement officers saying that this is actually verified by us third party right wherein why because this the data the, the data record the cdr record is not been fetched from the user's device but from this system that exist in the telecom company and the server wherever it is so this is how it's there in the indian evidence act and section 65b just sharing this four certificates as a reference for you all here they are uploading on moodle also i uh, sort will be uploaded on edmodo also very soon okay so that in there for today's class i hope you understood the context behind gaining some insight on the section 65b and the certificate that needs to be produced okay so just let me know in case if you have any doubts or else we can wind up for this particular session to, for today
okay so i guess there are no doubts so we'll wind up the class right now and sure we'll see in tomorrow's class all clear thanks a lot we'll meet in tomorrow's class so have a good night everyone or have a good day see you tomorrow bye Yeah.